All right, now we're gonna get to the meat of the presentation and the class that we have. And we're gonna start with the most common words. And before we introduce you, we're gonna talk a little bit about what we call the 2080 principle. And this is really how you're going to be able to learn 90% of the language in 100 days. So quick story is uh, a man named Wilfredo Pareto, who was an Italian economist, has noticed that when he was in Italy, 20% of the people in Italy owned 80% of the land. And the same thing applied to wealth. And what this concept came towards is that people started to apply this in every aspect of their lives. And here's a quick diagram of what that looks like, which means 20% of the time that we spend, uh, the few vital tasks, the investment, the resources, all of that. And in anything that we do, there is that 20% that end up 80% 80, 80 of our desired results. Meaning that 80% of the, th most of the things that we spend time on, most of the things that we spend money on or the trivial little tasks actually only result in 20% of the results. So the key is to really identify those 20% of smaller but vital things that will give us the maximum amount of results. And this is really the fundamental breakthrough that Pareto has really given towards uh, economists to uh, business individuals. And it's really changed the thinking of how we should be allocating our time and resources. And to give you guys a practical example of how this actually works is in 2012, they did a quick study of how most people around the world are spending their income or their savings and how they're really spending money on a monthly basis. And what they realized, and some of you guys may be able to, uh, to relate to this, is that housing and transportation, which came to about 20% of the uh, total expenditures that they were spending accounted for 80% of the actual cost, meaning that housing and transportation is where 80% of our costs went to, but it was actually only 20% uh, of the things that we spent money on. And when you look at some of the other aspects of uh, our lives, 20% of our friends or family members or the people that we're around account for 80% of our happiness, vice versa. 20% of clients may account for 80% of our profits or our referrals. 20% of our employees or customers uh, can result in 80% of our unhappiness if you're looking at measuring frustration or problems that you may have. So this really applies to almost everything in our lives, including the way we learn. And a fascinating study that was done by Alexander Algueres, who is the world's most famous and respected linguist. And what he discovered was that studying the most frequently used words, meaning the first thousand most frequently used words, will familiarize you with 92.7% of vocabulary in the oral speech. And here's what's interesting about that is when he measured people that studied the 3,000 most frequently used words, it accounted for 94% of vocabulary in the oral speech. And what that means is that going from 1,000 to 3,000 words, which is triple the initial uh, barrier that you had to cross, 2,000 more words, only resulted in a 1.3% additional increase for most people. So that is a fascinating study, meaning that the first 1,000 words is really where you get the biggest bang for your buck. Now, how do you actually go out and execute this? And we've broken it down in a very simple manner where if you learn the first to 10 most common words every day for the next 100 days, you'll be able to master the 1,000 words and familiarize yourself with over 90% of the spoken language in any language that you are learning. 
As in, and even think back to how you regularly communicate with people around your lives. Most of the things that we talk about or most of the vocabulary that we use isn't something complicated as aardvark or idiosyncrasy. You know, we use very simple words that is really 20% of the vocabulary that we have, but we use it 80% of the time. So this is why we wanted to describe what the Pareto's Law was, because you can really use the same principle in the way you learn language. Which is focus on the most common instead of the uh, random words that we may not actually use in our everyday conversations. So challenge number three, guys, is look up the most common words in your target language. And for those of you guys that have already discovered or haven't discovered yet, we have a learn a language challenge that you can discover. You just have to type up RYPE, RIPE, learn a language challenge on Google, and you'll be able to find that challenge where we email you every single day for the next 100 days with the most common words in any language that you are learning. Now, the fourth step to this is to understand grammar, which is a very important aspect of learning a language. And most people try to complicate grammar in not the most supportive way, and it generally ends up confusing us more than it helps us. So what we want to be able to do here in this lesson is to simplify grammar. And we're going to start this by explaining to you guys what grammar really does, which is three things. Grammar, all it does is really it adds words such as you like it to do you like it. It changes existing words itself from I eat it to I ate it. And last but not least, it changes the order of those words such as this is nice to is this nice. And that's all grammar is really meant for. It does those three things and nothing else. So if anyone tries to complicate that more than anyone else, it generally is not worth the complication uh, compared to the reward of actually understanding grammar. So today I'm gonna sh we're going to share with you guys the eight golden sentences that will help you hack grammar and really understand it in any language. And this is really was popularized by Tim Ferriss, who is the... Uh, a polygot himself, an investor, and one of the best-selling authors of the four-hour work week, where he has been able to manage uh, written and conversation fluency in over six different languages. So the concept is the, these eight golden sentences called the I give John the apple sentences is really going to help you understand how the structure of your target language works in uh, every aspect in uh, how we use grammar in our everyday language. So the first step that you need to do is to take the English eight sentences and translate it into your target language. So if you're learning Spanish, the good news is it's already been done here. So you can just screenshot it. Or if you are learning a different language, you can simply ask a teacher or ask a friend or go online and just be able to translate these specific sentences into your target language. And what you will really find here is that you'll be able to understand what the difference is between the English language and your target languages in terms of how the grammar works, how it's structured. So I really recommend you guys to take a screenshot or to write this down and to do this in your own language. And you'll be able to really analyze what is the difference between English grammar versus Spanish grammar or French grammar or English grammar or whichever language that you are learning. So definitely is this is going to be a worthwhile exercise for everyone to do.